Hi everyone, it's Margaret here. Um, I'm back with a quick video of uh, a little project I did for my sister-in-law's 50th birthday. A very sweet and special person in our family. And uh, so I decided to give her a little something special um, made by hand. Um, it's nice to go out to the store and buy a gift, but I really think that uh, we should get back to basics and give gifts that are from the heart and for the heart. And I know this meant a lot to her because when she, uh, when she received it, she was literally in tears. So I guess if she was crying, it's, it's a good thing. Anyway, what I did was I took a plain box, actually got it at the dollar store, paper mache box, and I cut it down to size because um, I wanted it to have a custom, a custom fit for the contents. Um, so I embellished the box with uh, lots of goodies and trims, as you can see. And on the top, um, you can see that um, I've made a, a crochet flower with a little tool and some little trim with uh, pearls. And of course the label here that has uh, her name personalized and uh, it's called 50 years of blessings with her birth date and um, that's the outside there again on the front is the little crocheted flower with a little bling so I wanted I wanted something custom to hold the contents that way um, she could tuck it away and I know she keeps it on her coffee table so that came in handy to have a little box to, to put it in. So let's open it up inside. And as you can see, it's a, it's a little uh, doily journal. Just gonna back that up a little. It's a little doily journal, uh, very personal for my dear Paula. As you can see, It's not very big, but um, you can see the front page. It says 50 years of blessings and crocheted flower, a little bit of a, a tool and shaped into a rosette. Um, some little uh, collected uh, um, trims that I took off again from garments and, and whatnot, little bow and some tassels, a little, little pearl dangles here, and a little stick pin that complements the, uh, the colors of the journal. And most of all here, with the dangles, I had some little photo frames, little tiny photo frames, and I was able to put all the photographs of her loved ones, her sons and her husband, and uh, some little pearl dangles, little tool again and I don't know if you can see it but the little photo frame frames of her uh, her loved ones so she really loved that and she loves shoes she's a real girly girl so I added some little shoe charms and a, a key and a little crown and that's kind of cute so anyway let's move on to the first page I just did uh, a little uh, little ruffle trim on the reverse, so I had the ruffles facing in this time. But again, because she likes shoes, I found this cute little image and then um, bumped it up with a little bit of bling. Um, this is a wedding dress applique that uh, I dyed with tea, um, no, not tea dye, with uh, avocado. and. I love this saying, I found this on the internet, and it says, remember, Ginger Rogers did everything Fred Astaire did, but she did it backwards and in high heels. I love that. So, because again, she's a shoe lover, and she's a real powerhouse of a woman. She really does it all. She takes great care of her family and, and works full time, and I, I really love that saying. I think it says it all uh, with, with my sister-in-law, Paula. And next page, 
I took a little image from the internet of a, of a castle. And this says, any home can be a castle when the king and queen are in love. And like I said, she takes really good care of my brother. And uh, I thought that was very appropriate for her to include in her journal. Again, a little crown and heart charm here. Very simple and sweet. Some uh, uh, appliques that I trimmed down, put on top of the doily. And that's that page with a little bit of bling again with little pink flowers. The next page, I won't read the whole thing, but it's it's a little uh, it's like a little poem about having children and what your children mean to you. Um, I included that little bit of a, a little dangle trim that I had for my scrap box, a little bit of wedding dress applique. Um, again, little little charm, and th these charms actually they're they're both hearts. But this one here, it's so tiny, but it is a locket, and inside I put um, her two sons' baby pictures in there. So I know she really loved that. It brought tears to her eyes when she when she opened it up. And again, it's not very big, but but very a very touching little little gift, I'm sure. And again, this is the last page, the pocket page, and with a little bit of crocheted flower. Again, the, the uh, little bling and pearls, some little rosettes, a little tassel. But the fun part about this page is that inside the pocket, there is another little treat for her that I included. And that is, I had seen on Pinterest a tutorial on how to make these cute little... Uh, um, albums. Uh, they're accordion albums. So it's just made out of cardboard, uh, cut out, um, covered in fabric, and then embellished with trim and rosettes. And um, this says memories here. And then you open it up, and it actually becomes like a little accordion um, photo album of herself with her mom and dad, and of course, her beautiful family with her husband and her her sons and Oscar our little English bulldog he's he's one of her sons as well so he he gets his picture in there as well so that's a nice little keepsake for her that I included and it all folds up really nicely and tucks away back into the into the pocket so there you have it it's oh and there the back page here again just the doily with a uh, little doily flower and the wedding dress applique and you can see the dangles again Oop, the little stick pin so like I said I really love giving gifts that uh, that make people cry so she was really touched really loved it and um, don't be afraid to try to make something I know people they have everything nowadays they it's really hard to buy gifts for everyone they they just have so much stuff. And I thought, what better way to say happy birthday, a, a special milestone birthday, with something that she can keep and enjoy forever. So it's really, really a nice, really nice gift. And then of course, she goes back into its little box and stored away. And when she as a moment and is feeling sentimental, she can go inside and have a little peek at it again and uh, enjoy it all over again. So I hope you liked it um, and has, you know, it's given you a little inspiration to give it a try for somebody special. I know they really appreciate this type of thing. So thanks for watching everyone and um, hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.